Today is July 7th. Pastor is saying to us, he's coming with a shout. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. How I look forward to the coming of the Lord, the rapture of the church. I hope you do too. His coming is with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump. He's coming with a bang. Hallelujah. This isn't going to be an ordinary shout. It's going to be so loud that dead in Christ, every Christian who ever died will hear it and come back to life. The Bible says the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we that are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. You'll be waiting for us in the air. And the Bible says, so shall we ever be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17. That shout reminds of a story in John chapter 11. Jesus shouted, and a dead man named Lazarus came out of the grave. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. John chapter 11, verses 43 to 44. If Jesus hadn't singled out Lazarus, calling him by name, every dead person would have heard his shout and come out of the grave. But he was specific and said, Lazarus, come forth. He's going to shout again. And when he does, only those who had lived for him before they died, and those of us living for him now, will hear it and the rapture of the church. That day is coming. Are you ready? That's what all this is for. That's why we are producing and distributing Rhapsody of Reality to the whole world in every language. We're preparing the nations for his return. We want to reach every man, woman, boy and girl on the face of the earth with the gospel. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, what a glorious day it'll be when we all see Jesus. I earnestly look forward to being caught up together with the saints to meet the Lord in the air. Christ lives and reigns gloriously in the earth through me. Hallelujah. For further study, please read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 to 52, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18 of the Passion Translation. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 18, verses 24 to chapter 19, verses 1 to 7, and Job chapters 12 to 14. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Galatians chapter 1, verses 10 to 17, and Isaiah chapter 27. Of reality.